Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we're going to do a little painting together um, of some daisies. I'm going to try and keep it loose and flowing. We'll see because you know that I'm not very good at that. So let's have a try. Let's play with something completely out of my comfort zone. Um, but before we get into that, I just wanted to thank today's sponsors of this video, which is Anna Louisa. If you follow me for a little while, you know that I've worked with Anna Louisa before. I am obsessed with their jewelry. I literally wear this piece here all the time, these earrings, and then the two um, rings that you see here. This is like a stacker ring here. So it's a little star and a moon. I wear those all the time, okay? Um, and I have sh I've showered in them. I've gone in the sea with them. I have, you know, had baths in them and stuff. And I'm not saying do that because you absolutely shouldn't. But this is how high quality the jewellery is, like it's lasted that long because I am terrible with my stuff. I do not look after it and I really should do. So um, Anna Louise very kindly sent me a few new pieces. So they sent me this little pebble um, necklace. It is literally called the pebble necklace. It's new. I absolutely love it. I love the dainty chain here with the simple gold pebble. I just think it really like elevates that daily day-to-day -day look i think it looks amazing stacked with my chain necklace up here the flat chain necklace it just looks really nice and simple classy and would suit literally everybody i think like every single item that i've got would suit any kind of person and any kind of wardrobe as well and then they've also sent me some rings so first of all i've got this ring which is like this sort of it's almost reminds me of like a snake it's really cool it's got some beautiful cubic zirconia there um i think this would look awesome on any finger i've got it on this finger but you could literally put it anywhere it would look great but my this finger is a little bit fatter so <laughs> it only fits on my other finger um, and then i've got this really cool this reminds me i'll just take it off here you go so you can see it this actually reminds me of like some Grecian patterns because it's this spiral ring. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. So I've got that as well. And then um, they also sent me, so I already have these two rings here, which is a stacker set of the moon and a star, which of course, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with anything celestial. So of course I had to have that one, but I got this, um, it's like a wishbone, they call it a wishbone ring. See like that? And it's so cute. So this is super, super adorable. I love this. I've stacked it with the star and moon rings and they look amazing. If you bought this in a smaller size, I actually think it could look really amazing as like a little um, midi ring. See like that? Obviously this isn't the right size, but I'm tempted to get it in a smaller size just to fit it just there above my fingers because I think that would look amazing stacked with the other jewelry as well. So that's one of the beautiful things about the Anna Louisa jewelry is that it really does suit everyone because it is that dainty, slightly minimalistic look to it um, and it's just stunning. They're all tarnish resistant as you can see, like obviously like I said I literally wear my stuff in the bath and the shower and they've not tarnished so I'm really happy with that because I do not look after my jewellery and they're carbon neutral and for me at the moment in today's world I think wherever possible if we can make things that we're doing carbon neutral I think that's really amazing so I feel really good about wearing this jewellery as well it's not just that it looks nice I feel like I'm doing good as well the packaging that it comes in is so cute I've shown you these before but they're just ah oh, they're so adorable it's these little like canvas sort of cotton um bags with the really lovely poppers so this is what my necklace came in and then these i've not seen these before because i've never really ordered any rings because i've been worried about fitting but let me tell you on the website they tell you how to work out the fit that you want for the rings and it's perfect like it's literally perfect so i'm really pleased that i've gone for that um but this is like this little burnt sienna kind of color uh and it's really nice i'm shocked so i keep all of these because they're really useful if you want to take them on holiday they're super useful to carry it around with you and not only that you can put other stuff in here as well so i think they are fantastic if you want to grab some Anna Louisa jewelry for yourself i of course have a code for you it is canvas and copper 20. you could use your discount for yourself or you could use it for a friend or family member whoever you feel deserves it because we all deserve a bit of luxury sometimes so without further ado let's get into the video and let's see how i do trying to paint something or draw something with a slightly looser 
feel to it. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I have taped down some watercolour paper. It's not really sticking because well, for whatever reason the masking tape doesn't want to stick. Um, we're using my always favourite Aquapad. Love it. It's just great for when you want to have a little play. And we're just going to sort of sketch out roughly the shapes of what we want to draw. So daisies, I feel, are kind of nice and relatively simple to draw, she says. Um, and we're going to do three. So we're going to start with the... Um, uh, oh my god, I can't remember what it's called, but this area here where all the sort of pollen is kept. This one is kind of more front on, so we're going to start with that one and just roughly sketch out. Where the petals would be. And because I'm really trying to do this as like this loose sort of look to the um, painting, I'm really trying not to obsess about like placement of things, you know? Um, it's hard for me to do this. Because, yeah. Precision is everything, but we're gonna try. <laughs> Just know I'm dying inside. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of that's that's as as sort of sketched out as I want it to be. I don't I don't want to get stuck in doing too much detail with it because you know what I'm like. I will just get sucked in. So we're not going to do any more than that. Um, I hate it. My brain inside is like screaming. But there we go. We'll just live with it. So I'm going to get out my, um, this is my Winsor & Newton palette. Everyone thinks I hate Winsor & Newton. I actually don't. It's just like prefer Schmincke. Um, I just think that Schmincke is just like the, the bee's knees. Oh, we could add a little bee. Maybe we should add a little bee. Um, oh my god, let's add a little fuzzy bee. And it's literally, the bee is just going to be like this much. That's the bee. <laughs> ah, I'm literally dying inside, oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to pick a really muted colour palette. I just want to keep it simple um, as much as possible. <sighs> Keep it loose. We might even try some wet on wet, which again, my brain is just like, no, no, Charlotte, we don't do that. I'm dying inside, guys. I really am. And everyone thinks I'm being like probably dramatic, but like, oh, the feeling, it's like, it's like fear. So, um, I'm going to start by doing the little polony doobie what's it but i'm not gonna do wet and wet for that i'm gonna do just like i'm just gonna get some orange uh, i'm gonna pick up this lovely orange from my schmincke palette i'm just gonna it's not really an orange it's like a it's a yellow really i'm just gonna bosh that in there and on this one and then i'm just gonna add some water and make this one paler because it's further back See what I mean? We're gonna we're gonna keep it <laughs> we're gonna keep it loose. Oh. oh I swear I'm not being dramatic. This is just I'm a realism um artist guys, like you know that if you've watched me for a while. 
and the struggle is real. So we are going to dry that brush. We're going to use this one, and I'm going to take this orange from I'm going to do a Newton palette, dark orange, and just add it here. And we're staying loose-ish. We're staying loose. And then we're going to use this lovely, it's kind of the same colour as the Anna Luisa. Cool. We'll see in a minute. See? Look, it's like the same colour. And we're just going to deepen that up there. So because daisies are white and the paper is white, what I'm going to do, I'm going to like get a clean, clean water and I'm going to draw around the daisy area with water so we can kind of use like a wet on wet yeah clearly i didn't um clean my brush so well there good job charlotte good job it's all good it's all good we're just going with the flow oh my life i just want to keep it I want to keep it loose, even though I don't like it. I'm really sorry if you can hear my stomach growling. No, that went on the daisy. It doesn't matter though. Keeping it loose, keeping it loose. Oh good, it's love. Okay. <sighs> look how pretty my fingers look. Uh, right, I want to use some kind of greens and blues oh no I just contaminated my water brilliant some greeny blues like around this area and just completely let it do its thing
Okay, so I've just used my dryer to dry this off a little bit. And we're going to go in and do some little fuzzy bit. fuzzy brown but we'll let that one try some more him. Thing I'm going to do is either going to ruin this or pull it all together. <sighs> so I'm going to take my pen, it's a really fine pen. This is a Faber Castell Echo Pigment 0.1, and I'm just going to really roughly draw the daisy basically in pen. solid green stem going. Oh, these are really fine. Brush. You can tell I've had too much caffeine, but I think it's working in my favour. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, how do we think I did? This is kind of the finished piece. I, I'm pleasantly surprised, you know, I, it was a struggle, I'm not gonna lie, like I could tell, you know, when I went back in and started doing this darker area here, I was like, mm, I could feel the like, want to go in and try and be detailed, even though it's already like that wishy-washy kind of, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I could feel myself wanting to get to like, like not being happy with it and like being like, ah, this is so not me, but I like it. I think the fact that I added in the, um, the pen actually elevated it. So I think I'm going to do more of these, but I'm going to continue using the pen because that just adds that little bit of like that tiny bit of rigidity that I need and I kind of want at the minute, but I'm really pleased that I managed to keep it pretty loose. Um, and using the white of the paper as well for the daisies, like I don't normally do that. I, I don't like doing white things, um, like painting white things. I'm pleasantly surprised. I feel like there's something missing down in this corner or maybe I should have just kept the color in the middle. Like, I feel like there's just something missing here, but I'm gonna leave it for now and I might come back to it at some point and do something else with it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this. This is gonna be my thing. I'm gonna continue trying to get looser and teach myself to do like wet and wet and just continue going down this path and steering away from like being super super rigid but yeah i'm really happy let me know what you think um is it rubbish or did i do okay like this is my first real attempt at doing something properly loose so um yeah tell me what you think let me know and yeah i will reply to all your comments thank you so much for watching thank you as well once more to Anne louisa and like i said if you would like to um get some of your own Anne louisa jewelry i've got a code in the description box below which is canvas and copper 20 that'll get you 20 percent off um and let me know which of these is your favorite like do you like this one the little pebble do you like this chain do you like the rings oh i love these rings like they're just insane they look so pretty if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe i am so so close to hitting 1000 subscribers and i'm so excited i know i've a little bit, been a little bit absent recently um but i really do want to get back into being on social media and not just youtube but like i've been completely absent from instagram um and tiktok as well recently so let me know um 
so if you're not subscribed please do subscribe let's see if we can hit that 1000 followers um let's say where are we now we're on the 8th of may so let's say by the end of may i'm gonna try and hit a thousand subscribers let's see if i can do it um, if you have any friends that you think would like this channel then please do tag them um and that's it for now my next video i've got a swatching video of the glorious using the flash wipes mission gold i'm finally doing this swatching videos i'm so excited for this one it's gonna be so good and i also have a video coming up on upcrate as well um so please do subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see those as well thank you so much guys i really appreciate you and um, i shall see you in the next one bye